some new trends in medicine moving forward right now. It's definitely gonna be NAD and some protein therapies. So we'll start with NAD. NAD is uh, nicotinamide adenosine dinucleotide. And it actually is a precursor to make more ATP in the body, which is an energy store. So your mitochondria um, synthesizes ATP um, for energy in the human body. NAD actually has a lot of benefits for neurological health. So benzodiazepine withdrawal, opioid withdrawal, and dependence, it's actually great for that. And there's a specific dose of 800 milligrams that's actually great for increasing neurological function. NAD also is the guardian of the genome. So meaning it actually increases telomere length. Um, so in some studies, they actually have seen telomeres, which is the end of your chromosomes, uh, as a telomere that decreases with genetic transcription over time. So your genetics pretty much transcribe you know, on a second to second, daily to daily basis, and you want those telomeres to be long. That's a little bit with NAD into the protein therapies. You can actually have proteins that synthesize um, anti-inflammatory effects in the body. Um, there's also, you can stimulate different organs in the body like your pituitary to secrete more growth hormone, for instance. Or you can tell your immune system to modulate and you know potentially fight cancer cells, potentially fight uh, different immune cascades in the body. So those are some cool little therapies that we'll kind of dive more into, but those are some new trends in medicine.